But it couldn't last. She weren't a bad lass. But she was young and pretty and easily flattered. It was all right if someone was there to make sure things didn't get out of hand. Those common methods of love she'll despise. I do beg your pardon, Mum. But when she went home to England, there was no one there to keep an eye on her. Sharp was in a clink in France for a murder he never committed, and she was scared. She let her head be turned by that idiot, Lord Rossendale. I love you. I love my house. I love my life. Miss Jane! Miss Jane! Miss Jane! He's not the man you married. He's become a monster who mutilates the men he murders. This tosser he turned out to be. Very good at spending other people's money and stealing their wives. Not much good at fighting the French. Sharp wouldn't normally take this lying down. But, as I say, he was in prison at the time in France. Then he escaped and found himself on the wrong end of a volley gun. Why don't you speak English like you did the other night you were here? You're mistaken, ma'am. We were not here the other night. My name is Sharp. Major Sharp. She was very apologetic about it. Well, you would be, wouldn't you? If you just shot the wrong man. Voilà. You have a soft heart, but hard hands, ma'am. Have you no servants? What would I pay them with, Major Sharp? The revolution took everything but the roof. Napoleon took the rest, including my brother and my husband. Richard? Are you hungry, Richard? I'm starving. <laughs> As I say, Sharp loved his wife, and he did his best to behave. He behaved himself with Lucille for weeks, though it nearly killed him to do it. You've been very kind to me. I feel like I'm... Your wife will be waiting for you. Yes. I 
course you will. Good night, Richard. Good night, Mum. Then Harper came back from London. Tell me the truth, Pat. Is my wife... Is Lord Ross and damn it, are they lovers? Yes or no? No. Good God, no. Nothing like that, sir. Nothing. You're a damn poor liar. But you're a damn good friend, Patrick Harper. Beg your pardon, ma'am. The door was locked. Yeah, after six years of fighting the French, he'd fallen in love with a French woman. But Sharp wasn't the type to desert. He went back to England and accepted a posting in Yorkshire as head of the Scarsdale Militia. It was a bad time for all of us. Summer of 14. No jobs. No homes. Made being in the army look like one long tea party. Sharp was all right, though. Well, he was and he weren't. He had a posting in the town where he was born playing lawman to a bunch of lard-ass crooks. Bastard. There he is. Get him. Move forward. Here they come, my friends! Tools of tyranny! Major Sharp and his merry men. It ain't enough putting the Frenchies back to slavery. Now he wants to put you to the sword. First time in his life, Sharp was on the wrong side. Well, he got to the bottom of it, found the guilty men, 
and got himself posted back to London. But after that, he knew there was no use staying in an army where had no one to fight. He bought himself out and went back to France. Then old Boney skipped Elba and come back to have another crack. We was called up. All of Sharp's men came. The ones still alive, that is. Harper, Harris, even Hagman, who was well past it by then. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell, Patrick. Not you. Trouble is, some right idiots came too. Are they mine? Prince of Wales, sir, of the 5th Brigade. Yes, 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 you see, I thought they were mine. Why? Can you tell me why, Sharp? Why have they formed square to be shot at, Sharp? How dare he be insubordinate swine? I'll have you hanged for desertion! I'll have you shot! Will somebody not shoot me this scum down? Includes officers. What? Oh, yes. Very good, sir. Shot they will be, sir. 
Now rise up yourself, the six! Right! On your feet! On the line! On the line! Now, Maitland, now's your time. Stand up, guards and atoms! The Prince of... Damn it. The South Essex will advance! Right shoulders forward! March! We've got a flag, lads! You see me? I'm your colour! Me! something in the distance. A sight that in seven years of fighting, he'd never seen before. I got a sign. A sign. <laughs> well, that's all I came for sodas. <laughs> Goodbye, Colonel Sharp. Goodbye, Mr. Harper. Sharp was a good soldier, all right, but he weren't no saint. What the hell do you think soldiering is? Just because you've been allowed to swan around like a bloody pirate for years? Listen, sir, when their fling is up against those walls, you'll be glad there's some pirates in there. Now, stand up straight, arms down where they should be. Attention! <laughs> You fat bastard. You won't find a coffin to fit you. We've played by your rules. Now we'll play by mine. Oh! I command you. No, no. Yes. By God, I'm gonna make you beg sharp. Where is he now? I don't rightly know. In Normandy, I hope. With Lucille and a whole battalion of little ones. Looking back on days gone by. From a nice, safe chair by the fire. Goodbye, Sharp. sleep either. Why, because of the battle? No. Because you're sitting on my bed. <sighs> Strip your body, Smithy. Compliments, man.
I don't know where Sharp is now, or even if he's still alive. But I tell you this, he'll be in my heart forever, and in the heart of every rifleman that ever had the privilege of serving with him. And I don't care what they say, to me, Sharp was a hero, a gentleman, and an officer. Here's 40 shillings on the drum To those who volunteer to come To list and fight the foe today Over the hills and far away O'er the hills and o'er the main Through Flanders, Portugal and Spain King George commands and we are going 